Hello everyone, this is Dr. P. Srilatha, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, I am going to discuss about problems of normal distribution. So already we have discussed some problems based on normal distribution. So first one, sorry, fifth one, next problem is in a, nor, in a sample of 1000 cases, the mean of certain test is 40 and standard deviation is 2.5. Assuming the distribution to be normal, find the first one. How many students score between 12 and 50? Second one, how many students score above 18? Third question is, how many students score below 18? Okay, so in a sample of 1000 cases. So, in that, uh, the mean, so mean is 14. That means mu equal to 14. And the standard deviation is 2.5. That means sigma equal to 2.5. Assuming the, uh, assuming the distribution to be normal, find first one, how many students score between 12 and 15? So that means we need to find probability of 12 less than x less than 15. Or we can write uh, 12 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 15. And the second question is, how many students score above 18? That means the probability of x less than, greater than 18. Or we can take uh, greater than or equal to because uh, the normal distribution is continuous probability distribution. Okay. So in the continuous, we can take uh, equal to also, no problem. So how many students, next coming to the next question, how many students score below 18? That means below means less than 18. That means less than or equal to, we can take 18. Okay. So we know that a mean equal to 14 and sigma equal to 2.5. So coming to the first question, so that is a probability of a 12 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 15. So let us assume that this is x1 and this is x2. So that means that is probability of x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2. So coming to our normal distribution formula, we have that formula is uh, x minus z equal to x minus mu by sigma. So coming to uh, normal distribution formula z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma and z2 equal to x2 minus mu by sigma. So next, first move on to z1. So that means that is uh, x1 minus mu by sigma. Here x1 is 12 minus mu is 14. So 12 minus 14 divided by sigma is 2.5, 2.5. Okay, 12 minus 14 divided by 2.5, then we will get uh, that is minus 0 0.8. So like that, Z2 equal to X2 minus mu by sigma. Here, uh, X2 value is 15. X2 is 15. And uh, mu value is 14. 15 minus 14 divided by sigma value is 2.5. So after simplification, so after simplification, the Z2 value is minus, sorry, 0 0.4, that is positive value. Okay, so now uh, probability of, uh, now according to our formula, probability of Z1 less than or equal to Z less than or equal to Z2, that is equal to Z1 equal to probability of Z1 value is minus 0 0.8 and Z2 value is uh, 0 0.4. So probability of minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 0.4. That means the normal curve. So if we have the normal curve is symmetric about z equal to 0 and x equal to mu. Okay. So that's why we need if we have any negative value in the curve. Uh, in If we have any, any value uh, in z so we, any negative value in z we have to take in the left side of the uh, left side of uh, this normal curve if we have any positive value we have to take we are we have we need to take in the right side so but here we have z1 value is negative value so that's why z1 equal to minus 0 0.8 and z2 value is positive value so that's why we need to take in the right side we need only in between area this area okay so here to here area 
plus here to here area that means 0 0.820 plus 0 to 0 0.4 so minus 0 0.820 so minus 0 0.820 plus 0 to 0 0.4 okay so in the normal curve uh, the normal curve is symmetric about uh, uh, z equal to 0 and x equal to mu so that's why we can write minus infinity to 0 can be written as 0 to infinity so that's why we can write uh, here we have a minus 0 0.8 is there minus 0 0.8 to 0 is there so we can write uh, we have to convert into positive so that means 0 to 0 0.8 Okay, so minus in 0 0.8 to 0 can be written as 0 to 0 0.8. This is possible only in normal distribution because normal distribution is symmetric about z equal to 0. Okay, so next value is 0 to 0 0.4. So we have to take uh, 0 0.8 value, 0 0.4 value in the normal distribution table. So uh, coming to the normal distribution table, so C. Here we have a normal distribution table. So this is our normal distribution table. So in the normal distribution table, we have 0 0.8, right? So in 0 0.8, we need to take 0. In 0 0.8, we need to take 0. So that value is 0 0.2881. Okay, zero in 0 0.8, we have to take 0 that is 0 0.2881 and uh, in 0 0.4 we need to take 0 okay so 0 0.4 that will be 0 we will get 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1554 so that value is 0 0.1554 so that is uh, uh, 0 0.8 0 value is 0 0.2881 and in 0 0.4 0 value is uh, 0 0.1554 okay so after simplification we will get 0 0.4435 okay so therefore the number of students score between so what is our first question the number of students score between 12 and 15 the number of score students score between 12 and 15 is okay so we have to multiply how many uh, samples are there uh, how many students are there total number of students are thousand okay so we need to multiply this value with thousand so that's why thousand into 0 0.4435 that is equal to uh, double four three uh, four forty three point five so approximately we will get 444 okay so 444 students score between 12 and 15 okay like that the next question is what is our next question how many students score between sorry above 18 that means probability of x greater than or equal to 18 so that is probability of x greater than or equal to 18 so now which will be in the form of p of x greater than or equal to x1 so here x1 equal to 18 z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma that is 18 minus uh, mu value is 14 divided by sigma value is 2.5 so after simplification we will get z1 equal to 1.6 like that and now p of z greater than or equal to z1 that is p of z greater than or equal to z1 value is 1.6 okay so that is uh, here we have that is uh, that value is positive value z1 value is uh, positive value that is that's why that is 1.6 so z1 equal to 1.6 and this is z equal to 0 so we need so greater than or equal to symbol is there so here we have positive value that's why we are taking in the right side and also we have here greater than or equal to symbol so from the point if we have greater than or equal to symbol so from the point we need to take right side area okay so we need only this area so how to find this area so we know that this total area is 1 and this to the left side area is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 because uh, the normal curve is uh, symmetric about x equal to 0 and z x equal to mu and z equal to 0 so that means uh, we need only this area right so from that uh, we need to find uh, only this area right so only uh, from the point we need only right side area so that's why we need to take uh, 0 0.5 minus this total area is 0 0.5 so from 0 0.5 we need to uh, uh, take uh, 0 0.5 minus uh, 
0 to 1.6 okay so here to here area 0 0.5 minus here to here area then we will get only this area okay so that is 0 0.5 minus 0 to 1.6 0 to 1.6 okay so we have to take 1.6 value in the normal distribution table like uh, um, before one okay so that is 0 0.4452 so that is 0 0.4412 so after simplification we will get that is 0 0.0548 so therefore coming to our question the number of students score above 18 is how many total number of students are there total number of students are 1000 so that's why we need to multiply this value with 1000 so that means 1000 into 0 0.0548 then we will get uh, that is 54.8 approximately that is 55 so 55 students score above 18 so coming to the next one in that uh, third one is uh, um, what is our third question so how many students score uh, students score below 18 so consider p of x less than or equal to 18 so that means p of x less than or equal to x1 so this is our x1 value okay so coming to our formula z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma uh, x1 value is here 18 minus mu is 14 divided by sigma value is 2.5 so after simplification we will get z1 equal to 1.6 okay so p of z less than or equal to z1 that means p of z less than or equal to z1 value is 1.6 so that is also positive value so we have we need to take in the right side so z1 equal to 1.6 it is uh, symmetric about x z equal to 0 and this total area is 1 and this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 so here we have less than or equal to symbol so from the point we need to take if we have any less than or equal to symbol from the point we have to take total left side area this total area okay so that means the here to here area plus here to here area so here to here area means that is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus here to here area that means 0 0.5 plus 0 to 1.6 0 0.5 plus 0 to 1.6 we will get 0 0.5 plus uh, if you take 1.6 value in the normal distribution table we will get that is 0 0.4452 okay so after simplification uh, we get uh, that is 0 0.9452 but we need the total, okay, but we need the number of students score above 18. We know that the total students are 1000, okay. So, we need to multiply 1000 with, uh, with 0 0.9452, okay. So, then we will get 1000 into 0 0.9452. Uh, after simplification, we will get that is 945.2. So, approximately that is 945. So, uh, the number of students score above 18 is 945 okay so coming to the next problem the marks obtained in mathematics by 1000 students in normal distribution with mean 78% and standard deviation 11% find how many students got marks about 90 percentage okay so here the mean is 78 percentage 78 percentage means 78 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.78 so mu equal to 0 0.78 like that sigma equal to that is uh, what is sigma value is here that is 11 percentage so 11 means 11 by 100 that is 0 0.11 so sigma equal to 0 0.11 so uh, find how many students got marks above 90 percentage that means here we need to find uh, p of uh, probability of x greater than or equal to above means uh, greater than okay so in uh, normal distribution that is continuous that's why we can write that is x greater than or equal to 90 percentage otherwise we can take the x greater than 90 percentage no problem okay so 90 percentage means 90 by 100 okay so that is x greater than or equal to or greater than 90 by 100 okay so that is p of x greater than or greater than or equal to that is 0 0.9 so that is x1 value is 0 0.9 so coming to our formula, normal distribution formula, that is x1 equal to, sorry, z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma, that is equal to 0, x1 value is 0 0.9 and mu value is 0 0.78 divided by sigma value is 0 0.11. So that is equal to 
right side okay z1 equal to 1.09 okay uh, then we have greater than or equal to symbol so greater than or equal to symbol means here uh, we need to take only from the point we need to take right side area so we know that this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 so, so coming to the um, pro this problem already we have discussed this uh, like same type of problem in the previous problem so that is 0 0.5 minus so here we need to take 0 0.5 minus. we need only this right side area so how to take this only right side area so this total area is 0 0.5 in 0 0.5 we need to take uh, we need to subtract 0 to this only this area so we need to subtract so that means 0 0.5 minus 0 to 1.09 okay so that is 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 minus uh, 0 to 1.09 so we have to take um, we have to take this value from the normal distribution table so in 1.0 we need to take 9 so in 1.0 so here we have 1.0 in that we need to take 9 okay so we need this value okay so from that we will get this one okay so after simplification so after simplification we will get 0 0.1379 so therefore the, the number of students uh, got marks got marks above 90 percentage above 90 percentage is okay so that is we have to total number of students are here uh, total number of students are 1000 students are there so we need to multiply that value with 1000 so this value with 1000 that means 1000 into 0 0.1379 then we will get 137.9 so approximately that is 138 so how many students are the number of students got marks above 90 percentage is 138 so coming to the next problem suppose the weights of 800 male students are normally distributed with mean 140 pounds and standard deviation is 10 pounds find the normal find the number of students whose weights are first one between 138 and 148 and next one is second one is more than 152 pounds so total students are 1800 800 in that mean mean is nothing but mu mu equal to 140 and the standard deviation is denoted with sigma sigma equal to 10 so consider p of 138 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 148 that means x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 so this is x1 value this is x2 value so x1 is 138 and x2 is 148 so z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma so x1 is 138 and the mu value is 140 divided by sigma is 10. So after simplification, we will get z1 equal to minus 0 0.2. Now z2 equal to x2 minus mu by sigma. So x2 is 148, mu value is 140, 140 divided by sigma value is 10. So after simplification, we will get 0 0.8. So that means p of uh, z1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to z2 equal to p of uh, z1 value is uh, minus 0 0.2 so this is minus 0 0.2 and uh, z2 value is 0 0.8 neg positive value 0 0.8 so coming to normal curve normal curve is symmetric about uh, x equal to mu and z equal to 0 if we have any negative value we have to take in the left side so we have negative value that is z1 equal to minus 0 0.2 okay so like that we have positive value that is z2 equal to 0 0.8 we need only in between area that means here to here area plus here to here area so minus 0 0.2 to 0 plus uh, 0 to 0 0.8 so minus 0 0.2 to 0 and 0 to 0 0.8 so in this in the normal curve we have minus infinity to 0 equal to 0 to infinity because uh, 
normal curve is symmetric about z equal to 0. So that's why we can write uh, minus infinity to 0 to uh, minus infinity to, to 0 can be written as 0 to infinity. So that's why minus 0 0.2 to 0 can be written as 0 to 0 0.2. So we have to convert uh, this value to positive. Okay. So that's why 0 to 0 0.2. So this is as it is. We can write. Okay. So um, we have to take 0 0.2 in the normal distribution table. So we have to take this value from the normal distribution table. We will get a 0 0.0793. So and a 0 0.8 we have to take from the normal distribution. We will get a 0 0.2881. So after simplification, we will get that is 0 0.3674. Okay. So if you add these two values, we will get 0 0.3674. So therefore, the number of students weight between 138 and 148 is how many students are there? How many male students are there? We have 800 male students are there. Okay, so those weight, the number of students weight between 138 and 148 is 800 into 0 0.3674. So then we will get uh, approximately that is uh, 294. Next question is uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 152. So because more than, more than means p of x greater than 152. So that means that is uh, P of x greater than and greater than 152 equal to P of x greater than or equal to x1. Here x1 is 152. So coming to our formula z1 equal to x1 minus mu by sigma. X1 is 152 minus mu value is 140 divided by sigma value is 10 equal to. After simplification we will get 1.2. So that means that is positive value right. Okay. So coming to P of z greater than or equal to greater than z1 that is equal to P of z greater than z1 value is 1.2. That means that is positive value. We have to take here we have z equal to 0. This is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 and this total area is 1 and it is symmetric about z equal to 0. So uh, we have positive value. If we have any negative value we have to take in the left side area. So if we have any positive value we have to take in the right side of the curve. Okay, so here we have a positive value. That's why we are, we need to take in the right side of the curve. So that's why Z1 equal to that is 1.2. So in 1.2, we have greater than symbol. That means we need to take uh, the right side area. If we have any less than symbol uh, from the point, we need to take left side area, this total area. So, but here we are having uh, greater than symbol, right? So that's why we need to take in the right side area. Okay, so how to find this area, only this area. So 0 0.5 minus here to here area, 0 0.5 minus 0 to 1.2. So 0 0.5 minus 0 to 1.2. So then we will get the this area, only right side area, only this area. Okay, so we have to take 1.2. So 1.2 in the normal distribution table, then we will get that is a 0 0.3849. In 1.20, so here we, we have like this 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. So this is 1.2. In that we need to take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to take 0. So this is our value. Okay. 0 0.3849. Okay. So for 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3849, that is equal to 0 0.1151. So therefore, the number of students weight more than 152 pounds is 800 into 0 0.1151 that is equal to 92. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.